Hey great drivers, today we're having a look at the Glen Murray 1994 Distillery Edition uh, Sherry Cask Finish. Man, look at the colour on that. Woof! That is crazy. Uh, bottled at 56.7 ABV, 1994. When I buy this in, I bought this in 2018, I think. So it's a 24 year old whiskey. Why they haven't called that out, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, why not? Glen Murray, stunning distillery uh, up in Elgin, the Elgin Classic, they call it. Uh, I love how the bottles always kind of mimic the stills. Very, very nice. And always from my perspective anyway, very underpriced versus how good the juice is. Uh, Ian Allen up there, who, who kind of runs their education and distillery stuff, uh, is an absolute gem of a man. Really big fan of him and their entire distillery team as well, to be fair. Um, but when it comes to uh, when it comes to the quality of their whiskies, it's so high. Great spirit, amazing cask management, um, and uh, yeah, always always stellar releases for prices that you'd want to almost want to pay more for. Um, I've often said to him that you should add a tenner onto every bottle, and I still wouldn't even bat an eyelid because it is that good. Shall we carry on? I think so. So this was 125 quid a bottle, um, distillery exclusive. Oh, hello, hello, <laughs> sherry all over it. Sherry, but with a really interesting kind of toffee, cherry, uh, kind of candied uh, cherry. You know those beautiful uh, cherries that Del Boy used to get in his cocktails? Uh, Glacier cherry, that's the badger. Um, and also candied orange as well. Maybe a hint of coconut and fudge. Mm. Big flavour, big ABV, easy drinking. That is not an ABV that you'd think is going to wallop you around the face. This one, wow. So smooth, so easy drinking. And also those lovely sherry characters and all those kind of flavours I was talking about earlier has come through. They, uh, they kind of come through, but then it gets gradually sweeter. Um, a hell of a lot of more sweetness on the finish now actually now it's developing still quite juicy kind of drawing out the moisture the juicy but drying at the same time it's a real kind of juxtaposition um thoroughly enjoyable though quite a thick heavy whiskey but one that has so much flavor and character um i kind of wish i'd already bought two bottles of it so that one i might have to hide that from myself now uh, so i don't get too excited uh Okay, fine. I'm gonna have another one. Mm, it's Christmas, right? Well, it was at time of recording, anyway. Cheers. Until next time. <laughs>